Hello everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid with Philip Therese. Uh, last episode we we started on the farm. It's looking it's looking pretty good, although it's got some pretty major flaws. Uh, the 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 main one really being you've got to go all the way around it, which um, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't. Uh, but it's done now, so. Um, yeah, that's that's just something that we've got to live with, I suppose. Um, completely underestimated uh, how much water uh, each plant takes, so I'm kind of praying for rain right now. Um, and just before uh, I started recording for for that farming video, um, the the water went out, so. Yeah, we, we've got a we've got a pretty big water situation that I can't really support all of these plants without rain. So I'm sort of just leaving them to it and just kind of hoping that they will be okay. Maybe, uh, but you know, it, it is what it is. If they die, I mean, like we've got we've got hundreds of seeds. We can always plant some more, but I don't really want to be wasting the water that I could potentially be. Uh, using for myself which it really is more important I mean like Phil Phil's a thirsty boy so he needs to get he needs to get as much water or, or just he needs to get a consistent amount of water uh, and Phil is a lot more important than a plant so depending on who you ask I suppose it's uh, you could ask like a uh, I don't know like a plant activist I can't imagine there's many Project Zomboid plant activists that are uh, campaigning. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, what we're going to do now is... I don't know what... Oh, damn. Uh, what I wanted to do was just have a quick look in uh, in uh, in that house there. Uh, just talking about water. I kind of wanted to get some for the trip. But what the plan is today is we're going to go to the supermarket. Uh, which is just over here, actually, and we're gonna we're gonna try and fill up on as much canned stuff as as possible. But uh, kind of weaving in and out of these zombies. I knew there was gonna be a ton of zombies, um, so that that's fine. It comes as no surprise there. But yeah, we managed to get in pretty pretty easily. So the electricity is out as well. Which yeah, I, I didn't I didn't realise, but yeah, that that is out as well. So yeah, it's when it gets dark, it's you know we, we can't do a whole lot about that. But oh well, it was going to happen. There is a generator uh, that I found uh, whilst just scavenging around uh, recently. So I think in one of the the next couple of episodes uh we're gonna have to have a look at that generator we've, we've already got the manual for it so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too difficult um i know that the the generator itself it, it uh costs well i don't know what you call it it, it weighs a lot yeah that, that's what that's what it's called yeah it weighs a lot it weighs like 20 uh 20 carry weight which yeah, that'd pretty much uh, break Phil's back, but uh, you know what? We could probably we could probably put it in a in our bag if we just emptied everything. So you know, it should be fine. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a later episode. But it's, it's kind of got to happen soon because yeah, power is important. Power is power. Yeah, knowledge is power, but power is power as well. Uh. But also food is pretty important. So I just want to make sure we're stocked up on, on as much food as we possibly can. But it also means that uh, all of the fresh stuff is uh, is pretty useless. So while we're while we're looking through this this area and, and looting up, um, we'll just try and, and eat as much fresh food as we as we possibly can because uh, in the next couple of days or so, it all it, it's it's just going to uh, just just going to go rotten anyway. So, 
Might as well fill our boots, as it were. It's like now all of these waffles are rotten, which it it's a sad sight as it is, you know, seeing a, a rotten waffle, but it also sounds kind of weird, a rotten waffle. It doesn't sound very nice. As, uh, as, as far as rotten food goes, it's not very nice. Uh, yeah, rotten bread. I don't know why these shortbreads aren't, aren't going rotten as well, but I suppose they put that much additives into shortbread that can never go rotten or probably outlast us. I quite like coming to the supermarket, to be honest. With you. It is a a pretty a pretty safe bet for some awesome things, so yeah, always worth going to. Just probably worth going to uh when it's a little bit earlier in the game. See you got all this this rotten food here. So we just can't take any of that now. Take out the few stragglers in here. The were shoppers before uh, before they got taken out. Oh, look, a wedding ring. That's pretty cool. One of the chefs. And it looks like one of the... Oh, damn, look at that. One shot. Gigamart waistcoat. Cool. Yeah, I think this is all fresh stuff. So let's just go straight to the... Uh, We'll go straight to the aisles because uh, that's that's probably got all of the non non perishables, I suppose. Yeah, we want to want to fill up on pasta because if you can if you can put pasta in a pot, that's that's sixty uh, sixty hunger taken away. So yeah, it's a really good it's a really good find. It does weigh a ton though. Pasta does peanut butter. Got to take it. Might need uh, a couple of trips, to be honest, but I'm I'm happy to do that just because, I mean, this stuff is is gonna last uh, uh, for the the entire in game, uh, the the entire gameplay. So worth taking. We 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 sort of got to do it at some point. Uh, peanuts and yeah, we'll try and just eat these now, so they're not filling up the inventory too much. And then there's like a there's an office area upstairs which we'll I'll try and get to that as well. I want to take as much stuff as I can per uh per run. Oh, black chess pieces. I've never seen that in game actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, we just picked up a candy cane. I'll eat the candy canes. Sure. Can beans. Yeah. Uh, glue, sure. I don't know if you can get diabetes in, in this game. Oh, eat. You're too full to eat. Stuffed. Okay. Message received. Ah, school bag. I didn't actually know you can get bags in the supermarket. I suppose if it's like a general, a general supermarket, you, could, you probably would be able to. Didn't quite manage to get that that big hiking bag, and unfortunately, we wanted to have a look for that a couple of episodes ago, but that, that didn't quite happen. I don't really know where else to go for the uh, for the big hiking bag. It 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 seems to me that um, we we sort of ran out of like likely places for 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 that kind of stuff to be dropped i.e the the school and also there was a uh like an office building uh, a little bit north of the the safe house uh which essentially they had a lot of lockers in it so lockers i don't know if this is like true or not but uh it seems to me that uh bags uh have a, a higher drop chance in 
in uh, in lockers. So that was the the logic there, but yeah, I didn't quite do it. We found a hiking bag, so I mean, it is sort of it sort of proved the logic, but yeah, still didn't get us what we wanted. So we're twenty out of twenty there. That's full. Okay, cool. So. I mean, there's still tons of cans here, so it's it's worth another trip at some point. Oh, eggs. Heavy load? Why? Get rid of that. Uh, we should probably eat something. If you... If you have a... So, if you're... If you're like full, full to bursting or stuffed or whatever, it actually increases your carry weight because your your physical strength, you, you've got more energy, so you have a, a higher uh, physical strength. But uh, when you, yeah, when you start going back to to normal, you lose that additional strength, so it can kind of trip you up a little bit there. Damn, they got a gun at the counter. Ah, sweet, a box of jars. Jar lids. Um, we won't take it, but that's a good... It's a good uh, thing to remember. Damn, they got a baseball bat as well. This must have been a rough area. <laughs> right next to the gated community, they must have been rowdy. So now you can see fairly heavy load just because we're, we're well fed now. So we'll try and keep ourselves topped up while we loot the rest of this place and... Uh, yeah, hopefully won't be here too long, but there's uh, there's some office spaces up here, so hopefully they might have some sort of bag or or something. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. That's a window. Can't go through the window. What do we have here? A book. Lovely. sheet of paper. I don't think you can do anything with a sheet of paper. You might be able to write stuff in it, but I don't think there's a there's an actual use for it. Uh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Alright, that's cool. So, I'm going to say that yeah, shopping uh, food, food shopping is uh, is done for a while, I think. Alright, can we... We can't get out of here. We're going to have to go through the, the back. I'm just hoping there's not tons of uh, zombies. Oh, anything here? Wood glue. Kind of want the wood glue. I'll take it. Wood glue is just good for... Uh, to fixing up your weapons. Oh! Ho oh, ho ho, that was close. I think they, uh, yeah, they got a good, got, got a good uh, attachment onto me, but I think the the uh, the defense on their clothes uh, saved me a little bit. Dead zombie there. I don't think we even took that zombie out. I've been into this. This is a church, by the way. I've been into this uh, church. Uh, on a different playthrough, and there didn't really seem to be much stuff there. There is a there's a kitchen in there, so I guess you could find, you could probably find it uh, some cool stuff, but I don't I don't think it's a, a priority. Uh, it, it's a priority uh, looting area, I suppose. Oh, I kind of want to eat a little bit. So when you're uh, when you're over carry weight, you get exerted a lot faster. So it uh, it pays to sort of churn through your food a little bit just so you can save on the on the on the exertion because yeah e exertion um, it goes away very slowly. So I want to I want to take that on as 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 slowly as possible. But we'll go back to the house now. We'll dump all the stuff and uh, might have a look at a few different houses as well. I haven't really had a had much of a chance to check out the the other houses in the gated community. I think that uh, the priority should be the 
the actual named buildings like the school like like the the food supermarket um just because that there will be higher chances of 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 I suppose getting supplies a lot faster so that that's the that's the logic behind there you know what, i'm just going to run across these these ones i think it, like in the long term we're going to have to put in like a little crossroad in the middle there so let's check out the hall so got six cans there Six cans, five chips, and free chocolate. Cookie. I don't think the cookie can go off, to be honest. That's pretty cool. Never-ending cookie. Peanut butter. It doesn't really need to go into the... Into the fridge, but the, the electricity is off, so... There's not a whole lot of point uh, putting stuff in the fridge anymore. Uh, orange soda, yeah. So yeah, so look at that. So we had six cans before, so that's 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19. So yeah, 19 cans, amazing. With that being said, we should probably, we should probably take out all of this stuff in the in the fridge because there there are some fresh things but yeah given a couple of days they're going to go off i quite like the orange soda as well because once you once you drink the orange soda uh it turns into a drinking bottle so you can just use it as refills so it's actually a pretty good find oh okay so we're we're maxed out on that Got a bunch of mint candies. I don't think we're ever going to use those, though. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I guess we'll start filling up on this one. Move, move all the jar stuff. It's good to know, though. I think in a in a later episode, I might, I might remove all of these like normal cupboards and replace them with crates. I. I think it sort of adds to the aesthetic uh, as uh, like uh, as a scavenger would uh, having like yeah things he's built himself. I think that would be pretty good. Uh, so the watermelon is it gives you boredom and unhappiness, but it also gives you forty six hunger and hundred and forty first. I think. I think, uh, yeah, that's it's still pretty worth. Like, I don't want to make Phil sad, but uh, at the same time, that's a lot of water and hunger resist. Well, I'll call it resist. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Like, minus hunger? It doesn't really sound right. Maybe, maybe like, redu yeah, probably reduction. Hunger reduction. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot more sense. We'll just eat the entire watermelon. Phil is an absolute savage. Full to bursting on watermelon. Oh, yes. I think we'll call it there, to be honest. High exerted and tired. So he, Phil's got to sleep anyway. Uh, I'll throw the tin out there. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll put away the cigarettes in the garbage, garbage bag. I kind of want to reduce these items here. Like, the only reason why I keep this stuff here is, is just because they're sort of like a bare bones, uh, a bare bones supply of, of uh, medical equipment but it also means that I'm carrying around for carry weight all the time. So, I don't know. If I was trying to, like, maximize my weight, I suppose I'd remove those, but uh, maybe they're, they're, more, they're more good than bad, I suppose. We definitely don't need the saw and the, the hammer, so I can get rid of those. We only really needed those for, like, construction, but I think for carpentry, we're not really going to do much carpentry for a bit now just because we've got level five already so cigarettes will throw those away screwdriver yeah and nails 
Cool. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, inventory's looking pretty clean now. It'd be nice to wash our clothes as well, but the washing machine won't work now, because obviously we... water's off and electricity's off as well, so... Ah, well. Ah, well. You'll, you'll get there, Phil, don't worry. You'll get there. Okay. Have a good one, everyone.